Hello again, and welcome to SCLC TV. I'm Maynard Eaton, your host, and I'm joined, of course, by our president, Dr. Charles Steele Jr. And we have a guest today, former state representative Tyrone Brooks, a longtime SCLC foot soldier. Amen. Been here for, with that organization for more than 50 years. That's right. In fact, 50 years ago, you were assigned to a, what became America's last mass lynching in America. You're correct. Morris Ford Bridge. You're yes. here to talk about it. You said it's come to an end now, you said. Yes, we have solved it, thanks to my president. Who's with you every year, Doug? Every you know year since we launched the movement, since he became president in the second go-round, he's been with us all the way through. We've been Back together for over 30 years. Oh, yeah, we've been <laughs> together for over 30 years, working together. Mm -hmm. But we have solved Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s project. He launched it at the age of 17 when he was at Morehouse. And I was a just kid, rookie in 1968 when Jose Williams assigned me to it. And we now have brought it to conclusion. We've solved the Morris Ford Bridge lynchings. What do you think about what happened there? And why does it still resonate with America and, and, and in, within the civil rights community? Well, it resonates with me, too, because it's right around my birthday, you know, when it took place. Mm -hmm. So that tells you how old it has been, even though I'm young. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we've been working together, and Tyrone always brought it to my attention, I've been president of SCLC over 10 years now, and Tyrone has always said this was the last project. Just prior to Dr. King's assassination, he was coming to Monroe. That's right. And Tyrone said he was going to march there in Memphis, and then he was going to fly into Monroe. And uh, they was at the airport, I think. Yeah, there. we were. Willie Bowden and I. Uh, Dr. Mm -hmm. King and Abernathy were going to fly from Memphis to Monroe to help Mr. Dan Young. Right, Dan Young. Who buried the victims. And Charles I knew, knew Dan. Dan. That's right. I knew Dan Young. When you say it's been solved, you're really saying it's been a political conspiracy there. Yes. But no one's going to be arrested. We don't expect anyone to be arrested or prosecuted, even though we have the facts that would justify their arrest and prosecution. And the facts have been well known since the lynchings occurred in 1946. But as I told you earlier, the GBI laid it out to us and they said it was law enforcement officials that led the massacre. They drove people to the bridge. So law enforcement officials complicit and created a conspiracy of silence that made people feel like, well, I can't talk about this because if I do, the sheriff may get me, you know, the chief of police may get me, Governor Eugene Talmadge and his relatives, U.S. Senator Richard B. Russell and his relatives. So people were just absolutely afraid to cooperate. And, and man, if I may, people need to sit at the feet of people like Representative Tyrone Brooks and others. But this is something he's dedicated his life to. Yes, yes. And, and as you know, man, you've been with me with mm -hmm. every year, at least twice a year, he's tried to commemorate this. You have a reenactment, you also mm -hmm. have a march, right? Yes, we do. We march the first Saturday in April of every year to commemorate Dr. King's work and his legacy connected to Moore's Ford. And then on the fourth Saturday in July, we have an annual reenactment. It's a moving play. So we'll be having the 16th annual march coming up April 6, 2019 in Monroe, Georgia. Dr. Steele, we talk about voter suppression in the last midterm elections. We talk about a lot, the right to vote. You talk about the Voter Rights Act being gutted. Yes. But wasn't that the ultimate of voter suppression, what happened to Moore's Ford? It was. Us? It was, man. And just like things are going on today, we have to be structured. You can't be all over the board. We need to be structured. If we support people like Tyrone, who has a, a, a God-given talent and a commitment for justice, yeah. And, but who said it's gonna be easy? Yeah. You know, Tyrone been through a lot. I've been through a lot, man. In terms of our leadership, some of the own people around you would turn on you, and I understand that is frustration because of the injustices. But yes, that was the ultimate. If we don't correct. 1946 in terms of the injustices that's been occurred and we know is a reality that these crooks and these murderers got away just as we let them get away it'll happen in the future finally sir why should we care anymore what does it matter to john q public today <clears throat> because justice delayed is justice denied we should care as much about the lynchings in america particularly moore's ford as we care about the holocaust mm. Dr. Steele, one last comment. Well, I tell people all the time that was a holocaust, but we as African Americans had a holocaust. We went through hell. And Ladies still and going through hell. And still here. <laughs> this is an SCLC TV. You heard from two of the best here. <laughs> Civil rights heroes and leaders. I'm Maynard Eaton. See you next week.